So it's my real delight to introduce Ben Doolan here. And I'm going to begin, Ben, rather than me talk about you, to say, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so um, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you so much for having me this morning. Um, as Bishop Christine says, my name is Ben. I'm currently curate at St. Michael the Belfry in York, where I've been for the best part of five years. I'm married to um, a wonderful woman called Ellie, who is personal assistant to Bishop Glyn Webster, who some of you may have had dealings with um, in the diocese. A wonderful, wonderful man, and she loves doing that. So we've been in York for five years. Before that, I was training at Ridley Hall in Cambridge, where I trained for two years. Before that, I was student worker at St. Thomas's in Sheffield, so leading, leading the student work um, there across the city. And before that, I was a student in Sheffield studying biblical studies, um, which was a real joy. I'm a northerner and lived in Yorkshire most of my life. Grew up in Beverley, which is 28 miles south of York, about um, 12 miles north of, north of Hull. Um, and yeah, grew up in Beverly, and my way into church really was um, when I was about 11, my next door neighbor knocked on, our, knocked on our door, and he was the director of worship at Beverly Minster. And he asked my mum and dad if he could take me and my two little brothers, two little brothers a year younger than, year younger than me, and the youngest a year younger after, after the middle one. And he just asked if he could take me and my two little brothers to church with him. And so for two weeks, we just went and sat in the organ loft at at Beverly Minster while the service went on at the main communion service in the morning there. And uh, two weeks after that, we found ourselves in choir dress and were, <laughs> were, in, the, were in the choir, which was, um, which was a real treat. And so I um, started going to church regularly, obviously, because I was in the choir. And when I was about 14, did an Alpha course, and that really, um, that, that was the moment in which I think I realized, gosh, this, this stuff really is real. And, and became a verger at Beverly Minster, which was, um, which was a real joy. Um, and that and got confirmed at about, uh, when I was 15, so a year after, after doing Alpha. Um, so um, real heart for the North, really, lo really love the North. And um, ever since then, I felt just called to join in with what God is doing in this part of the, of the world. Thank you, Ben. And um, in terms of hobbies, things that really excite you when... So, yes, I am a massive football fan. So, however, I've, yes, how, how, however, um, I'm, a, I'm a whole city fan, um, and I know exactly, and I've had a, had a season ticket at Hull since I was 11, so for so a long time, but my, my family are all Watford supporters, so oh. my dad's family are from London, and so my, my two little brothers are still Watford fans, and I'm still very much seen as the black sheep of the family for even daring to support a team that isn't Watford. Um, but I am hoping to make it to St. James's Park once I'm up here. I just love live football, so we'll do anything to, do anything to watch it. Apart from football, Ellie and I love travelling. I love cooking. I think Ellie's cooked for me about four times in the six years that we've been married. Um, I just love cooking. In fact, if I, wasn't, if I wasn't a vicar, I would have loved to have been a chef. Or a TV presenter, one of the two. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ben. <clears throat> and um, you're coming here to this... We're very excited about this new, um, really new endeavour for us. What is it? Can you tell us what it is? How have you come to sense that God might be calling you to work with us in this really very new and challenging way? Well, the, there's lots of exciting things um, about it. When I first was asked by the Bishop of Hull to consider um, the process of discerning whether I had a call to ordination or so he was he was our our bishop when i was in in beverly i was 16 and it was actually on holy island um not very not very far from here so i remember i went on a youth pilgrimage that he used to run every couple of years and there was a handful of us with him on this week-long pilgrimage and he and he asked me if despite being only 16 whether i'd at least think about seeing a, D, a ddo and it all started up here in this part of the in this part of the country one of the things that really excites me is the, is the vision that we're all sharing in together of growing church and, and bringing hope. Um, so that, that just excites me, and so that's part of the reason why I'm so excited to be coming and part of the, I think, call to, call to be here. And when I was first asked by Bishop Christine and Bishop Mark to think about, think about this, 
All I can say is we, we, we prayed a lot about it and there were just a number of signs, if you like, that said that this might be the right thing for us to, to explore. So a phone call relatively out of the blue came from Bishop Mark and the next day Ellie and I were going on holiday and we sat, in the, sat on the aeroplane and we were asked to pray about whether we might explore, you know, explore this whole thing. And there was a travel brochure in the seat in front of us and as the um, flight stewards and stewardesses were doing their flight safety information, I just reached for, I know you shouldn't do this, you should pay attention to that. <laughs> um, I, re I reached for the, um, the, the travel brochure and it had the Maldives, Goa and Thailand on the front and I just opened it up, double page spread, your next destination, Newcastle. <laughs> um, and th there's, been a number of, there's been a number of things um, like that over the last few weeks and, and months as, as we've been praying. But we're just incredibly excited to join in with what God is already doing here. Wonderful. Um, perhaps the last and most important question, Ben, is you're being called to something which is, in, is really um, exciting, completely challenging, and you're not here as a lone ranger <coughs> riding off, even with Ellie accompanying you, you know, but, but how can we pray for you, um, it's very important that I think we all feel this is us and that you're not being sent out, you know, on your own. And that how do we in this diocese have a real sense of together we've been called into new adventures. How can we pray for you and Ellie? Pray for, just pray that Ellie and I will continue to get excited about this over the next nine or ten months or so before we, before we move. We can obviously pray for all the practical stuff that that's going to involve. Um, one of my hopes and expectations, and I'll talk about this a little later, is for great relationships with everybody who's already joining in with God's mission up here in the northeast, particularly in the Diocese of Newcastle. So please do pray that for, for great relationships, which I'm sure there will be, and, and pray that, as has been said a number of times, you know, that the Resource Church is part of the church in the Diocese of, of Newcastle, will be part of the church in the Diocese of Newcastle. Um, so just pray that we'd be excited about joining in with what God is already doing. I think that's the, the main thing. Yes. I think one of the things that certainly we feel um, gives a, a certain authenticity to this is that as far as I know, we haven't had a really northern grown resource church uh, anywhere in the country. Um, it's normally been uh, HTB sponsored from Holy Trinity Brompton in London and there's nothing wrong with HTB in London but it feels very much more earthed to be having um, our endeavour to be rooted in, our, in the north and uh, in life here as we live it and, and, and it's not following a set pattern uh, that isn't authentic to this part of the world. Mm. Absolutely and I think St Michael of Belfry very excited about releasing me to come to the Diocese of, of Newcastle. And we are praying that a, a number of people from St Michael Belfry in York will literally sell up houses um, and look for new jobs in Newcastle to come and join in with what God is doing with all of you. Um, so another thing you can do is, is pray, for, pray for that. But there's genuine excitement uh, in York about no, this. Well. Too. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very I much suspect I'm reaching my time. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was worth a fiver. <laughs> Thank you, Ben, very Thank much. You.